there, my pipe friends. It's been a little while. Well, we're coming into March, and March Meerschaum Madness. I think I'm going to do it again this year, where I smoke nothing but Meerschaums for the entire month of March. I know it's not March yet, when I'm making the video, but smoking my old favorite one. It's just a cheap basket one I picked up at the 2019 Chicago show. Um, $50 pipe without a case from one of the Turkish guys. And in it, I've got HH Old Dark Fired. So, the purpose of this video, besides saying, announcing that I'm going to do March Meerschaum Madness again, I'm going to show you all my Meerschaum pipes. There's a couple new additions since the last time I showed March Meerschaum Madness. It's been a few years. So, I'll start with African. My first African mirror is this Peterson with a P lip. Of course, a man pipe, Manx. Laxy Pipe Company. Yeah, oh man. I spotted this in a antique store. It was even dirty, darker than this. It was really filthy. And the guy had it marked as carved wood pipe. I spotted the P lip. There's a P on the stem too. But uh, I didn't white it out or it's very faint. You know, it's got the reverse tenon. So you know it's from there. Laxy. That's the first African mirror I ever bought. And I picked up this one, which is a man pipe. I don't know if you can see the symbol for man on there. Doesn't have the P lip. Same thing, the Aboriginal finish. Oh, that one came out. Looks like the reverse tenon isn't working properly on this one now. It's not stuck in there. But. That's number two. How do you guys keep your pipes lit when you're talking? Well, Tamper by Luchasaurus, which works uh, great on a big wide bowl pipe. And the lighter by Karibi, Kubota, which I was having troubles with this thing. Uh, kept losing fluid or gas and uh, sent it back to, well, DC. And out of warranty, because they, they give you a two-year warranty on these things. Shout out to them. They sent it back to me, zero charge whatsoever, zero charge for shipping back even. And it works better than it did when it was brand new. It took about two weeks, but I don't mind. <laughs> okay, back to the pipes. Then my most recent one, is this, this one here, Great Big Billiard. And this does have the reverse tenon. So obviously, another pipe from Laxey, the Isle of Man. This one smokes wonderful. I love it. Okay. Get into some of the other ones. This little guy, I got in a collection of pipes from a guy I met at Scar Store. Um, he had left them in a box in his garage, and the heat in the garage, I don't know, he must have had it in the attic or something. It had straightened out the stem. So I tried to heat it and bend it, and Whatever lucite, whatever they use on this stuff is very, old, it was very old and brittle, and it cracked on me. So I gave this pipe to uh, Jamie at Stem and Briar. 
he found a stem that was almost exact, like an exact fit, a new old stock stem, and got my pipe back. Beautiful. This was another one that I had Jamie do. It has a screw in tenon. It's supposed to have a stinger. I think I took the stinger out. I forgot what happened with this one now. Oh, it was bit through. So we found another old stem and fit it to the uh, screw in tenon on there for me. bit thick on the button end, but you can tell it's an old one, it's just a round hole. And I got this little gem with the Persiplex clear stem, red stained on the inside, so it hides your tobacco stains pretty good. I love this little pipe. I've had this one for quite a few years now. This was another one. Uh, me and a friend went to a guy's house that was selling all, he was a pipe collector. Not a smoker, never smoked. But he had tables full of meerschaums and stuff and he wanted real money for them. Then he had a bunch of carved pipes like, you know, the bull's heads and all those. And he had this on a table marked carved wood pipe. It was filthy too. It was brown. So he thought it was wood. And I said, no, no, no. I spotted that right away. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it only. Took it home, cleaned her up, and yeah. Now here's another I picked up in a, from an estate. Bought this, I'm gonna set this down. Bought this from a guy who was selling his father's pipes, pipe collection, and you can see what that is. It's a medico. I didn't... All the medicos, I leave the stingers intact on them. But yeah. It's a medical meerschaum. And it was clocked perfectly. I didn't have to do anything to it, really. It's just a nice little billiard. This big monster. <laughs> I bought it from an antique dealer. Yeah, the stem's a little getting brittle and chewed up a little bit, but yeah, if you want a long smoke, I mean this thing, I can't even reach the bottom with my there. My pinky's completely to the bottom, so it's as long it chambers as long as my pinky is. It does have a nice long smoke, but it's not a clincher. You gotta hang on to this thing, but it fits good in the hand. This one with the case. I only have three meerschaums that have the cases. They're all pipes I bought brand new, of course. This one I bought at the 2019 Chicago Pipe Show. It's a Moosin. Sort of a Dublin shape with the uh, Rhodesian bead line on it. It's a smaller one. It smokes pretty good. I like this pipe. I like this one for Virginia's. It's my favorite Virginia pipe, Meerschaum Virginia pipe. Of course, got a good deal on it at the show. But it's that, and then the first, next, two, the last two pipes I'm going to show are the first two Meerschaums I ever bought. These are from Pecos. This is a tiny little guy, little bird dog with like a grouse in his mouth. I don't smoke this one much. This is more like a taster. I mean, it's a tiny little, I can get my pinky in there just halfway down. It's a tiny little pipe. But I bought these at a uh, railroad, railroad salvage barn down in Crossville, Tennessee. I don't know if you can... Yeah, it won't focus. 
paid twelve dollars and ninety five cents for this pipe but I bought this pipe probably thirty years ago there maybe a bit more and then at the same place I picked up this guy with the case I don't know what you call that fellow there. But uh, it's another one, it's a Pecos. And this one, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but paid $21.95 for it. <laughs> uh, back at, go back in the good old days like that. But, so, those are all my Mearsham pipes. And I plan on smoking nothing but the Mearshams for the month of May or May, March if I can get them back into the cigar box I had them, most of them in can't really get them in there so anybody else going to do March Mearsham Madness? I saw a Bama Guitar dude was mentioning it a few days ago asking if anybody's going to do it I'm going to try it again. I know at the end of when I have done it, I don't remember if I did it last year. I can't remember. I'm getting too old. But uh, when I have done it after 31 days of smoking nothing but Meershams, it's nice to have a briar or a corn cob. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, I hope everybody's doing good. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try doing March Meerschaum Madness. You may not have as many Meerschaums as I have. Now, at least I got a variety to try. Bigger variety than I had a few years back, so. But in the past, I've smoked this one every single day in March. I don't know if I'm going to have time to smoke every single day in March. Because next week is my busy week. Ash Wednesday and Friday. Two fish fries. Got a semi-trailer coming to hold all the fish. A reefer truck. Hmm. So, yeah, getting on to almost 13 minutes. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.